Hello, my name is Ben Gold, and I'm a pediatric gastroenterologist here at GI Care for Kids, also known as Children's Center for Digestive Health Care. This segment is going to focus on nutrition, but from the standpoint of what happens after surgery, and in particular with respect to the child or adolescent who's undergone surgery for their inflammatory bowel disease. With respect to cr surgery, surgery typically is the last resort for children or adolescents who have inflammatory bowel disease. And, in, and most physicians, clinicians, myself, my partners, and uh, if you read the literature, use surgery as sort of the last after you've tried pharmacotherapy and you've tried nutritional therapy or you've got a piece of bowel that, that nothing else is going to respond to and you do surgery. Most people think that after the surgery, you then go back on the medications or you wait until the disease gets active again and then you start back all over. Well, there's new data that suggests and a, a, a compiling amount of literature that in fact new, good nutrition support prior to, during the perioperative period and immediately thereafter can actually help in surgical recovery and oftentimes can prevent the patient from going back on medications. And in the same way that nutrition can be used as therapy for um, inflammatory bowel disease, um, nutrition can be used to help patients stay in remission after the disease segment is um, taken out um, by the surgeon at the time of the operation. Lastly, nutrition can be given through the patient who's just had surgery either orally if they're able to drink uh, and eat um, and or by a tube, a nasogastric tube, thin flexible tube that goes in the nose and hangs in the stomach or in certain circumstances a gastrostomy tube. The take home point here though is that good nutrition um, both with respect to um, essential vitamins and nutrients as well as nutrition that's targeted at um, keeping the inflammation quiet um, are essential components of post-operative um, uh, therapy and, and uh, care for children and adolescents with IBD.